My name is Ness Woodcock Dennis. Um, this is an exhibition of my journals that I make, um, really around using natural things that are found in the environment, some man made objects as well. Um, this exhibition, I called it the butterfly effect because I'm interested really in the impact of um, somebody's actions, like um, if we throw litter away, the impact on the environment and the impact that it has on us as a community. So I'm trying to demonstrate that you can use anything you find really to, to turn it into something beautiful and really highlight the amount of, of waste product and the things that we take for granted. So what I did here, I made these books and all these things that I found on the beach. Each book that I make, usually it could take any time between um, an hour and three hours, depending on what I'm working with. These books, for instance, a lot use a lot of marine ply from boat yards, things that are left behind. This book here, using lots of copper and uh, salvage wire, um, rivets from boats that I found decayed in the silt at the beaches. So it's it reusing those things. So these ones are taking a little bit more time when you're manipulating the metal, heating it up, bending it, um, flattening it. These empty pages really just. Uh, the idea is that um, you use these books as really containers for thought. They're, it interests me that you can have something that is just a space for you to um, to write, to paint, to draw, just a place, a safe place to express ideas. So they're more, um, rather than just empty books that you can just doodle in, they're more something that you can treasure, something that you've uh, has been reused. It's kind of like, the, for me, is the antithesis of uh, things like Kindle. This is it's tactile, it's about stimulating, a, getting a deeper connection with what you're actually trying to express. So much of the time we live in, um, we function at a very high capacity where we can't actually put, um, put these things down because we're too quick. We uh, become automatic in, in what we're doing. So things like Kindle, for example, um, it's not a very tactile thing. It's just a visual thing, so it doesn't smell. But if these, you touch these books, you can feel, you know, the road, you can feel where the wood has been eroded and worn. And depending on which part of the coast I find the material, it's got a different feel to it. It also smells different as well. The different kind of wood you can smell the pine um, from pallet wood. You know, the other woods, you can smell the salt, you can feel sand that's been ingrained into the wood itself. 